Welcome to another Halo Community Cards video. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I've been meaning to because I actually have a whole stack of cards to look at. I'm getting a little bit backed up, so we're going to go ahead and jump back into it, starting with these two cards right here. These are actually the uh, first two that I got, um, that the first two that I added to my collection. So we are going to go ahead and jump right in, starting with this one right here. So right off the bat, we can see we have a old Mega Bloks Marine. This guy is in the old uh, articulation style, and he looks like maybe maybe an Oni type Marine, like with the the dark colors. And he's got a big rail gun, and he's in the background of like the woods and stuff. I really like this. I think this is really cool. I like, too, how the uh, articulation is kind of being, like, the rules of the articulation is being broken a little bit, how he's, like, reaching off to the side. I think that looks pretty cool. And then we can see on the back, this is Eric Whipple's card. Actually, you know what? I need to get in closer because you can't even barely read that. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, so this is card number six. It says, my Halo collector life began 9-11-2013 when I opened my first Halo Mega Bloks blind bag. It was the Series 7 common gray UNSC Marine. I have been hooked ever since. Oh, so I guess that's who this guy is right here. The gray Series 7 blind bag Marine. Uh, I am probably the only Halo fan who uh, to have never played the game read the books or comics. I rely largely on the awesome community members to help navigate my collecting field. Uh, well, I also really have not played the Halo game, so not the not quite the only Halo fan. I mean, I guess technically I have played the games. I played like one mission of Halo 5, but for the most part, I just go and kind of like glean my information. So that's pretty cool. So it says, name Eric Whipple, Homeworld Earth, Colony, White Lake, Occupation Collector, and there is his Instagram. Go and check that out, or I guess you can scan the QR code too. I think that might lead to it. Very cool. I like this one a lot, especially since it is related to Mega Constructs. That is really cool. And I'm curious now, did Eric draw this himself? Or did uh, Kraken do this one? I don't actually know. But yeah, this is a really, really cool card and one I'm really happy to have in my collection. All right, our next card is card number four. This is Anthony Moore's card. Now, when I first saw this, I thought this was an ODST like cosplay. Look at that. It looks like somebody in a costume. But apparently, this is a custom action figure and it looks absolutely amazing. Like, it had me fooled. I thought this was a real person. Like, for real. All right, let's see. What does it say? A former Marine with a hobby and a passion for Halo toy photography. See, that's how I, I found out that it was not a uh, person in cosplay. Uh, bringing Halo toys to life in unique ways such as this ODST. With a discerning eye and honed skills, Anthony makes this one-sixth scale, fig uh, one -sixth scale figure easily look like a real-life trooper heading out into battle. Uh, yeah, I for real, I thought... I for the longest time until I read this and went to Anthony's Instagram, I thought this was a guy in cosplay. Because look at that. Look at that and tell me it does not look like a dude cosplaying an ODST. That's that's quite something. We got the rest of the information. Name Anthony Moore. Homeworld. Earth. Colony. Seattle. Occupation. Photography. And there's his Instagram. Uh, yes, go check out his Instagram if you want to see more photos like this like for real he has some serious skill or yeah i guess you could scan that too dang that's really cool I, my brain still can't get over the fact that that's an action figure and i even do toy photography i should know these things but no my brain still says that is a guy that is an actual guy in actual armor and there is the lineup so far. We have card number two, card number four, card number six, and card number 92. So it's a pretty nice spread so far. Look at that. We've got art. We've got some photography. We've got mega blocks. 
even just four cards, we have this huge range of the kind of branches of the Halo community. I mean, the, there's the people that do the photography, the people that do the art, the people that collect Mega Bloks, and it's just four cards so far. How cool is that? So, yeah, I really need to get on the ball a little bit more with making these videos because, like I said, I've got a whole stack of cards uh, to look at, and I have gotten, like, less than half of all of the cards that there are. So I definitely need to do these more, so keep your eyes out for that. Also, I'm thinking about trying to find, like, a binder so that... Because as we get more and more cards, I'm not going to be able to line them up like this. So I'm thinking of getting a binder, kind of what people use for, like, Pokemon cards and stuff and putting them in there. Uh, so hopefully next episode I'll have that ready and we'll be able to see the cards more lined up. And I'm going to try to keep them lined up in terms of, like, the number. So we've got a huge gap in between these three and my card because like I said my card is 0, 9, 2 um, and these are all 2, 4, and 6 thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time